Hi everybody, Stu AG6AG, and uh, yep, although I'm extremely disappointed, I guess I'm not that surprised. Um, turns out that the UV21 GPS is just as dirty as the UV17R, and as a matter of fact, I found some other things that concerned me a little bit with it on the output as well. So they're uh, they're all in this video. It's a lot faster than the UV17R was because I'm not outlining how I set up everything and all the cabling and all that. I just did the test. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. And you know what? There's a section at the end that I'm not 100% sure I have the answer to. And if you've got the answer to that, uh, please put it in the comments because it's something that I really haven't seen before. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody out there that's seen it that might have an idea what the problem is. But uh, just some bizarre things with the output of this radio. Uh, anyway, with that, oh, uh, yeah, I know. I keep asking, please, Click on the subscribe button, and if you like any of my videos, click on the like button. And as always, any comments or questions or answers, hey, put them down in the comment section below. That way we can uh, start a conversation, and people that watch the video will get your additional information. Anyway, with that, this is Stu, and let's get on with it. Well, here we are again. This is the Baofeng UV21 GPS. Let's take a look at its emissions. Oh, dear Lord. Well, yeah, that doesn't make me real happy. Okay, let's uh, get me out of the picture and talk a little bit about this. So... We're tuned to 146 megahertz as our fundamental. Uh, we're putting out just about 5 watts. Um, let's take a look at our second harmonic at 292 megahertz. My goodness, it's putting out about 20 dB. Uh, just putting it out. In order to be legal, this needs to be under... 25 microvolts or about 16 uh, minus 16 dB for output minus 20 and it doesn't matter how far below the fundamental it is if you look at uh, the uh, um, 438 the third harmonic here uh, you know what it's under 40 but not even close to the specification right that we're looking for here even if i adjust for out of range on my uh oh uh, pad uh i'm still at maybe minus 8 db so we're not there uh let's see and it just it kind of just goes downhill from there um it looks like the 730 actually is uh within range that's uh but that's about it Anyway, the UV21 GPS, according to this, it fails. Now, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to change me back in here in just a second. But let me go ahead and change my mode to sweep. And I'm going to change my settings here. Uh... To take a look at a broader range of frequencies. There we go. Now, um, let me put me back in the picture just for funsies. So, I am now going to uh, key the radio. Let me pop this back on auto and let me set this to update. And I am going to key a frequency range from 100 megahertz to 800 megahertz. And I'm going to do a single sample here. So give me a sec. There we go. So 
There that is. Now, there's something very obscure here. It's kind of hard to notice, but if you look at uh, this line right here, this is definitely the second harmonic, right? Uh, we can tell because we're at 292, and it, it reads pretty much the same as it did in our earlier test. But the third harmonic actually is over here. That's a 438. That's our third harmonic. What is this? Let's take a look. Um, that is at 365 megahertz. And it's putting out minus 4 dB. It's, it's dirty. And I don't know where it's coming from. It's, it's, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. Um, and, of course, the same thing with this, right, over here. Um, let me uh, scope up on that a little. And that's at 511 megahertz. And it's four and a half, minus four and a half dB. It's illegal. So, <clears throat> again, um, I don't know where those are coming from. I will tell you, you know, this is a uh, tri-band radio, like I said earlier, and anything's possible. They could have done some sort of magic that the intermediate immediate frequency has a second intermediate frequency or whatever they did uh, to toss this together to try to save money. Well, it, it, it's kind of a fail. So with that, yeah, let's, let's talk about some stuff in the closing. Well, unbelievable. You know, I've tested a lot of Alfangs over uh, the years. And, uh, you know, the UV82 uh, has always been a go-to radio uh, with me because it just, it, it was a okay radio. Um, you know, you put it on the tester and it's, you know, it's close enough that, it might be a buy-in that it passes. Uh, and it's a good all-around radio. Uh, the UV5R, I've been surprised with its performance. Uh, now, uh, all of the 220 radios, the tri-bands, I've seen terrible problems with. So if you own a Baofeng tri-band, it probably fails, okay? Anyway, with that, I just, I got nothing more to say. It's this is the new Baofeng? It is concerning. Anyway, with that, my name's Stu, AG6AG, and uh, hey, questions, comments, likes, all that, put them down below, and uh, hope to hear you on the air. 73, everybody.